believe that things that we want to happen can in fact come true. That we're not stuck doing things always the same way. That we can make things happen new if we believe in it strongly enough. And I'll tell you, that team at Scale Composites, Burt Rutan and at Vulcan Ventures were magical in what they pulled off. But it's not enough for us to give birth to another monopoly. The key to opening up space and doing it economically is really having an industry, having lots of ships, lots of competition, bringing the price down, you know, making different types of trips possible. And I'm so proud that we had 27 teams, dreamers, doers, who put their stake in the ground and registered for the competition from six different countries. You know, to get an application from a team in Romania, literally out of the blue, was an amazing experience to see these college and graduate students building a private ship. This is one of our teams. It's called the Da Vinci Project. And their approach, rather than using an airplane to carry them up to the upper part of the atmosphere, they're using a helium balloon to take up to 80,000 feet. And tethered below the helium balloon, 600 meters below on a Kevlar tether, is their spaceship. And they take it up, ignite the rocket engine, go up into space, come back down. They have to recover the balloon and then do it again within two weeks. Now, this team up in Canada is actually going forward. They're going to be launching out of Kindersley this spring. They were in competition with Burt Rutan, hoping to make the flight last October. When Burt went, they slowed down their approach. They started to do more testing. I'm very glad they were doing more testing. And uh, they're hopefully going to go and become the first Canadian vehicle to go. Now, that brings up the point that space is something of this type, these kind of launches, that almost every country can do. And so why not have you know, Brazilian and Greek and Turkish and you know, astronauts from around the world? This is one of our teams in Dallas, Texas. This fellow, you may not know, but your kids probably know, John Carmack is the inventor of the video games Quake and Doom. When he made lots and lots of money and dedicated himself to going and building a spaceship that can carry us into space. Now, his approach is quite different. Unlike the other using a balloon or an airplane, he uses a vertical takeoff, vertical landing vehicle. Let's take a look what that looks like. That's his entire development team. <laughs> Literally, with a group of eight people designing things that had taken the government probably over $50 million to do. These are the kinds of breakthroughs that young entrepreneurial companies like your own can make happen. Now, we have 27 teams. We had one winner. We have at least a dozen of these teams still moving forward to try and capture this marketplace, inspired, if you would, by the rising tide that the Ansari X Prize brought about. And to capture that attention, we have an annual event that we have just announced called the X Prize Cup. It's based in New Mexico. And every year, starting in 06, we're going to be bringing all the teams together to one location. And imagine not one flight into space, but imagine over five or six days, 30 or 40 flights into space. It's the America's Cup means Grand Prix racing meets rocketry. And so for us, this is a way to move things forward, keep the progress going, and build ships that can carry your customers you know, from, if you would, New York to Paris, not in you know, 18 hours, but in 30 minutes. Now, the future of these designs are point-to-point -point travel. It takes 90 minutes to go around the world at 17,000 miles an hour. So imagine point-to-point -point travel, if you would, in any place on the planet for under an hour. That's the future that we have ahead of us.